And I know there are people watching this who are sabotaging themselves from being the best version of themselves because that's all it is. If you are not showing up, if you're not doing the things you're supposed to do to be the best version of yourself, you are simply sabotaging. You are simply conditioned to a certain way of living and that is all your mind will allow you to obtain. That is all your mind will allow you to achieve. Morning guys, welcome back to my channel. We are weekly vlogging. Do you know, I just wanna get into the habit of picking up my camera and actually vlogging and creating content more often. Like I feel like it's not ingrained in my brain that I want 200,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Like I really need to get into the habit of actually creating content if I want to see results. Anyway, good morning, we are weekly vlogging um, it's not a maintenance of vlog but my maintenance is due this week so doing my eyelashes tomorrow so obviously i'll take you guys with me my lashes are looking very scarce and doing my nails on saturday so i'm gonna be looking fresh again however it's not a maintenance vlog i redid my hair um when was it saturday as well it's now Tuesday. I redo my hair every every two weeks, every two and a half weeks. Good morning, baby. Come say one to the camera. Mommy's vlogging. <sighs> Mommy has nursery, so we'll get her ready. And I've got the gym this morning as well. Mommy, go to toilet, okay? Go to toilet, mommy's gonna come help you brush your teeth, yeah? So, I got my first real PR package. So I've received like, obviously gifted stuff before, but it's never really been PR. Whereas now, your girl is a part of the Space NK community. Like, I don't even know how this happened, but thank you, Space NK. Cool. So they sent me a cute little handwritten note from Space NK. Oh my god. I got this Tatcha skin cream which just looks so good. Smells so good. Can't wait to use this. I should have used it this morning actually, but I'll do like proper skincare. It's a lilac, which is very on brand for me. That's my brand colour. Um, we've got this lactic acid serum I actually want to see what the consistency of that is like we have some SPF from ultraviolet going to Dubai in May so definitely taking this with me looks great hopefully it doesn't leave like a white cast Got some Paula's Choice. I, I don't know if this does anything for me. You know, I had the little version. Maybe I didn't use it consistently enough. I'll dump the little version because I've definitely had it for over a year now. So, gonna re mm, have I had it for over a year? Probably not actually. And new cleanser. I, do you know what I realized, right? I need to not buy massive cleansers. Like the cleanser I've got at the moment is too large and it's like 100 mil. It's huge basically. And I like to switch up my cleansers like every month, every two months. And I'm not going to finish a two, 100 mil in such a short space of time. So I've decided when I buy cleansers, I'm actually going to get smaller versions so that I can like try different ones. So I'm going to start using this one instead now. And then we have a Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I believe you can just like put this on before you do your full skincare and I'm sure you can like spray it throughout the day as well just to like rehydrate yourself but that's what your girl got but yeah so today's plan take money nursery gym money nursery gym uni then my man's coming over and we're gonna go out for some lunch at my favorite little lunch spot and yeah just gonna chill until it's time for me to get money and then he'll go home before she comes home obviously and Persian words, 
But she's from Nicaragua If I choose Persian love I'll be turning up Or oh, we wasting time Girl, don't waste my time So I might just, just start uni and get ready when it's done. But I'm really sweaty, so I need to find a way. How's this gonna work? We'll figure it out. Um, guys, listen. <sighs> Any man that does not take care of their child cannot have chat for me. Like, certain people are just ridiculous that's the best way i can put it it's obviously mother's day on sunday so i contact my daughter's dad like um basically even when i contact him when i'm saying something i'm not asking your permission like if you do not provide for your child in any way shape or form don't think i'm about to ask you for your permission for anything what I'm doing is I am giving you the courtesy of being involved in what I'm about to say. <laughs> and I'm just doing you a favour. I'm just giving you a heads up. I'm not asking your permission for anything. Because how can I ask the permission of a babysitter? How can I ask for permission from someone who doesn't do not even 10% of what I do? How can I ask you your permission until you start playing the role of a father, I'm not asking you permission for anything. So that's the first thing. I'm not asking you what I'm, about what, I'm not asking you about whether or not I can do something. I'm simply telling you. And if you wanna be like, okay, that's cool, then great. I'm glad to have you on board. If you wanna say no, what's that no gonna do? It's not gonna affect my decision. I'm still gonna do what I want to do. Because at the end of the day, I am her sole provider. I'm her sole caretaker she lives with me 99 percent of the time even on the days you have her i've still seen her so anyway obviously it's mother's day this sunday right and like you know you know what has me mad do you know what actually has me mad the fact that people try to make it seem like it was the mothers who are the bitter ones but now that i'm older i realize it's the fathers who are the bitter ones anyway back to my story it's mother's day on sunday so i contacted him a day or two ago like um can you confirm like considering the fact it's mother's day on sunday can you confirm you're going to drop e-money home on saturday at 6 30 p.m that's all i said by the way three lines one sentence full stop like not no two nothing one sentence he emails me I'm not even, let me not even bring it up. I haven't read the, the whole email. I just saw the 5,000 word essay that he sent me. All I did was read the first, the, just skimmed. What I was just looking for was, no, you can't have her basically. That's all I was looking for, which is basically what it said. Talking about, um, I can't tell you exactly what it said because I simply don't know, I just skimmed it. But all I see is, um, 
I have to give him two weeks notice, one. Two, basically, no, you can't have her. I'm gonna bring her home at 6.30 p.m. on Sunday, which is Mother's Day, because it's Mother's Day for his mum too, this person who's never done anything for my child, and Mother's Day for his, his girlfriend too. That's none of my business. Did A or B push her out? Absolutely not. So why, why is her spending Mother's Day with them more important than her spending Mother's Day with the person who raises her and takes care of her 24 seven? Like, does that make any sense? Maybe I'm the delusional one. Maybe I'm the crazy one for thinking, no, she, she, she yes. Wait, maybe I'm the crazy one for thinking she should spend Mother's Day with me. Maybe, maybe she should spend Mother's Day with him, with him and his mum and his girlfriend because they have her 50% of the time or because they're providing for her or paying these nursery fees or they're the ones that's there with her when she's ill. They're the ones that's there that's taking her to the hospital when she's ill. They're the one that's doing her hair. They're the ones that's feeding her every day. They're the ones that's, you know, buying all of her clothes. They're the ones that's raising her, teaching how to use the potty. They're the ones that's teaching her how to speak, teaching her how to learn her numbers and her letters and, and how to spell. They're the ones that's doing it. They should, she should definitely spend Mother's Day with them. What you're saying, it makes so much sense. And what's an, another thing that gets me is like, cool, you're clearly doing that to be spiteful. Not that it's gonna work because at the end of the day, she's in my care. So if I want to have her on a particular day, I'm going to have her on that particular day. It's that simple. She's, she's already in my care. So, um, yeah, but another thing that gets me is it's not just Mother's Day that exists. Father's Day exists. Birthdays exist. There's going to be times where you're going to want to take her out on a day where you don't have her and you're going to have to ask me my permission. But because you want to be spiteful on this occasion... Because you wanted to be spiteful on this occasion and try to make me not have her on a day that's special to the both of us, both of us, me and, me and Imani, now when you ask me for my permission for you to do certain things, I can easily turn around and be like, no. And if I was petty, which there's defo, uh, sly pettiness in my, in my body, and you know, you know I can be petty, that's exactly what I would do. That's exactly what I will do. But lucky thing is, I'm not bitter. And I'm not, like, I can only let my actions reflect how I truly feel. And how I truly feel is not to keep her from you on the days where it's a special occasion for you. Because I don't care about anything. I don't care. I'm not bitter. I'm not spiteful. Like, if you want to have her on Father's Day, basically, and bear in mind... Father's Day is the day that it's my weekend with her because all of the weekends with her are my weekend with her. Um, so if I want, if you ask to have her on Father's Day, I might say yes. <laughs> I might, even though it's not your day, I might say yes. That's something that's in in my in my capability. Like, come on, man, don't be silly, don't be daft about I can't have my child who I pushed out, who I raised, who I take care of. 99.9% .9 of the time I can't have her on Mother's Day so what my grandma who has also contributed to her life more than anyone over that side can't have her on on Mother's Day let's the way my mum my grandma my aunties will class me up and down if I really didn't keep her on Mother's Day they will look at me like you're a dumb bitch <laughs> You're a dumb bitch. <laughs> and a dumb bitch is something I am not. Anyway, I decided that I can't be asked, guys. I'm just wearing this AliExpress tracksuit. We are going to have a wardrobe clear out this evening. And we're going to buy some new runaround clothes because it's just too much. A couple of my tracks fell out, but I'm not putting them back. Like, my hair is just going to be an illusion today. Anyway, I'm just going to do my eyelashes and done. That's it. That's literally it. to go 
home and like redo my hair because my lashes look so glam and my hair just looks so messy i feel like you could just proper see them um i got my bottom lashes done as well which is really pretty i feel great looks gorgeous hi guys so it's the next day i just got back from the gym and i need to clean my house now it's thursday i only clean my house on a thursday because beforehand like i would clean my house every single day and i would never have time to do anything else because i was spending so much time cleaning so now i only clean like give my whole house a proper full clean on a thursday and then like throughout the week i would just do little touch-ups here and there so that's what we're doing today i hit 10k on youtube let's see if it's still 10k <laughs> so i finally there we go i finally hit 10k on youtube i'm hoping it's a situation where i feel like it's going to be a situation where the first 10k is the hardest and from this point on i'm just going to see like my um my subscriber count like increase rapidly that's what i'm telling myself so hopefully that actually becomes like a fact and yeah i feel really good like a long time coming i feel like i should have hit 10k ages ago but that's neither here nor there i'm grateful we have finally done it and i just want to create content like i just want to consistently put content out there i do want to put out like really good quality content but at the same time i just want to create i just want to be myself i just want to be real i just want to be honest and i just want to post and when you like consistently think about what you're posting it makes it harder to post because you're nitpicking at everything you want everything to be perfect and i just don't want to do that anymore now i just want to like create i want to bring you guys in on my life not too much though like i still need like a bit of privacy but i want to bring you guys in and i just want to grow and i just want to I just want, I have so many goals, I have so many plans and like my biggest goal and my biggest plan is to be able to go full time self employed with content creation and you know all glory to God hopefully that can happen this year like I don't know we're only in March so there's still plenty of time for that to be a possibility. With my breakfast I'm just having a sandwich egg and plantain and i made myself a fresh drink as well so i'm just gonna have carrot apple ginger and orange and i need to take my vitamins i take herbal yeast herbal yeast because it helps me with my fatigue because your girl is a real tired girl like i am always i cannot function if i haven't had a nap throughout the day however i don't think i've had a nap in a good couple of days so maybe i'm getting better you have to have this like two or three times per day um i'm just gonna have this i need to re-up on my iron supplements as well and i also take for me right i'm just in a space in my life right now where i just want to be in the best physical shape and the best mental shape like i just want to be the best version of myself that's all i care about i don't care about nothing else nothing so i take cranberry for miss coochie down there and where's my water just have this this you have to take two three times per day as well And I also take biotin. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm just in a space in my life right now where I just want it all, you know? I want it all. I want the man, I want the family, I want the house, I want the car, I want the kids, I want the finances, I want the health, I want the fitness, I want the mental clarity, I want the stability, I want just all the good stuff, you know? All the good stuff life, life has to offer. I want it and I'm going after it. And it's mine like i was just while i was frying my egg i was thinking about how i actually self-sabotage quite a bit in terms of like getting to my next 
like in terms of getting to my highest potential i think i sabotage myself from actually getting there because there are things that i know i need to do in order to get there and i will either not do it or i would act on it but then when i get a response from the universe i run and hide and i shy away so i need to figure out why i am like subconsciously it's not even subconsciously like i'm very aware that i'm doing it actually like why am i consciously sabotaging myself from getting to the next level when i know i want to get to the next level i'm currently reading the book the secret mind of a millionaire and i'm pretty sure the paragraph not the paragraph the chapter i'm on at the minute talks about how um our brains are either conditioned to be rich or our brains are conditioned to be poor and if you are conditioned to be poor you physically won't allow yourself to get to that next level and like even if you're putting in all of the work even if you're doing what you're supposed to do there's going to come to a point where you're going to block that from happening and i god forbid and i'm not saying i'm poor or oh i'm not saying i'm trying to be poor but in terms of like reaching my next level i definitely recognize that i block myself from actually getting there so i need to figure out like what is it about my childhood what is it about my past self what did i experience in the past that has conditioned my brain to be happy with that way of living because in order to like accept a certain reality i think some some part of you is happy with that or some part of you is comfortable with that and i need to identify the part of me that is comfortable with like life just being this because i've allowed myself to get to this point but i feel like i'm not allowing myself to get to the next point for example like with my podcast i've reached out to like a couple girls letting them know not a couple of girls, let me call them women, some bosses. I've reached out to a couple of women asking them to come on the podcast and they've responded and I've ignored them. Like, why am I doing that? I was even supposed to go into a podcast myself and I arranged it and everything. Granted, I couldn't go at that, like the for the day and the time that we had originally organised for, I couldn't go then because i had university and it was actually quite busy that day so i actually couldn't go so i contacted him and i let him know like oh i can't go can we reschedule he responded to me like yeah um we can reschedule for this day or this day have i responded have i responded no i have not hi guys this is editing me from the future i wanted to give you one more example of how i self-sabotage so for those of you that remember or those of you who know or didn't know a few years ago i actually had a clothing brand and when i was at like the height of my career i had decided to quit that clothing brand and it just is so bizarre so i i was dealing with like um so i was doing a particular order where i was making like 20 plus bridesmaids dresses for a wedding and i remember my client saying to me oh i'm gonna recommend you to all of my friends and family and i was like to her there's no point in you doing that because you're going to be my last client like I'm not going to do this anymore and she looked at me like girl what are you talking about and it was such a crazy and weird time for me to decide to quit in that moment because at that particular moment in time my business was proving to me that what I'm doing is working it was proving to me that what I'm doing could be a success and that if I just stick at it this could be something really big this could be something really good but it was almost as if my mind didn't want to achieve anything more than I had already achieved at, in that particular moment and I've re realized like I feel like subconsciously like my brain is conditioned to only be comfortable with a certain level of success and anything beyond that I sabotage myself from either getting there or obtaining that because that's not what I'm conditioned for so that was another example I wanted to come and give you guys quickly and it's like why am I sabotaging myself and like I want a, I want a Lambo truck I want a six bed house <laughs> I want to go on holiday every month I want to back in I, like I want my kids to go to private school. I want private health care. I want to get my teeth done. Like, I want these things. And it's like, why am I stopping myself from getting there? You know what you need to do to get there. Stop stopping yourself from getting there. Like, that's literally what it is. I'm just stopping myself from getting there. And I need to just kick myself up the ass. <laughs> I'm so tired of it. Like, stop it. Stop it. Like, get up. Do the work. Do what you need to do. Like, don't get yourself to a certain point and then stop when you've reached that point you know you need to go further and it's just i'm just so annoyed well i'm not really that annoyed i'm just like i'm not even realizing this now like i, I know this 
I know this and I'll just like go have a nap <laughs> or just shy away from the fact and it's like no like I want so much more and I'm gonna go and get so much more and it's gonna happen and I just need to stop telling myself oh I can't do this oh I can't do that because you all you're doing is sabotaging you're just sabotaging yourself from getting to that next level even though you want to be at that next level like you actually want it and you know that when you're there it's going to be so much better than when you where you are right now however I'm only allowing myself to come to this present moment in time like I'm only allowing myself to experience this level of goodness but there is greatness after this goodness and you need I need to allow myself to experience that greatness but like, I hope I'm making sense <laughs> I hope I know I'm making sense that always makes sense but yeah like if you are and I know there are people watching this who are sabotaging themselves from being the best version of themselves because that's all it is if you are not showing up if you're not doing the things you're supposed to do to be the best version of yourself you are simply sabotaging you are simply conditioned to a certain way of living and that is all your mind will allow you to obtain that is all your mind will allow you to achieve and you now need to figure out what is it about that reality that will only allow myself to experience that reality like what is it what what is what is what about this what about being let's say broke am i comfortable with is it because it's just familiar like what is it i'm gonna show you guys how this camera is just ridiculous i'm gonna show you how to make the easiest jollof rice like the lazy way um i would recommend having a whole onion or at least a proper half onion this is all i've got but i'm not going downstairs so it's just gonna have to make do you know not a whole onion that's dramatic like a, just a half onion is is fine but this is more like a quarter it's quite small i'm not sure if you can tell i'm just gonna heat a pan and we'll chop up the onions. I'm gonna try. I don't know why dinner's so late today. I'm so sorry, babe. Mm. That is 100% mommy's fault. What's that? Mommy was too busy. Um, I don't know what I was doing. I'm not too busy. You're not too busy. No, it was mommy. Mommy was. I don't know what happened. What's that? What's that thing? It's the camera. I like camera. You like camera? Yeah. Alright, mommy and dad should not eat me. No, dad should not gonna eat you. Mommy. Mm -hmm. Mommy. Mm -hmm. Mommy. 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 My eyelashes look so good. Wait, Sorry, it's quite dark from this angle. Wait, water. Want some water? Where's your water bottle? No. I was trying to say, my eyelashes look very pretty. So, we're literally just gonna fry these off. Not, we're gonna like we want them to be so we're shallow frying them is that the word we want them to soften and then we're just gonna add about three quarters of tomato puree once these have softened we don't want them to be brown we just want them to be soft i'm gonna go and get some scotch bonnet i keep my scotch bonnets in the freezer because they last longer so i'm gonna use a whole scotch bonnet Okay, now that that has like shallow fried, like I shouldn't have to, I'm done complaining. I've never used this tomato puree before, so hopefully it tastes good. The tomato puree you use is very important because some of them just gives it a very rubbish taste. This is how much rice I've got. Just a small pan. 
this is the juice from my chicken that I was making in the oven. Let me show you my chicken. My chicken looks very white at the minute. I'm quite embarrassed. Oof. Sorry, girl. That was not smart of me. So, just making some chicken legs. Put your dress. I'm not going to take your dress, babe. Why would I take your dress? So, I'm going to just turn this heat up, but you have to move quick. So, this is the juice that I made for my chicken. I'm actually not going to use all of it. Just like going to gradually add it. I'm going to add some more to my puree. This is actually a small tomato puree, so I might just use the whole thing. Okay, so it now looks like this. And I'm just going to go ahead and add the scotch on it. Turn the heat down while I season. And the seasonings I'm going to use so mild curry powder and all-purpose seasoning. And I'm going to add some fresh thyme as well. And that is literally it done and I'm just gonna go ahead and add the rice there and that is my lazy jollof rice